Hey everyone, when I was at home for the last week, the summer, the epilogue, um, I dried a whole bunch more flowers. I also uh, took a video footage like in the garden of things that I do when I'm actually picking the flowers to make it easier to dry them intact. I focused on specific flowers that happen to be in my parents' garden that dry well and stay intact. Pansies and old-fashioned roses, and also I did phlox and hydrangeas. You can keep like the individual little flowers intact, but like you can't keep like the big bush intact, of course, because then it wouldn't be flat. But these are good flowers that are able to flatten really well and like still keep the shape. I also show impatiens, which they're able to stay intact really well, but they um, just don't dry very well. But I do show them anyway. And I also show like how I press them to make sure that they stay flat and don't curve and stuff. And also I show what I do to um, store them. Oh, and like, <laughs> I made this out of, if you didn't see my 50 questions thing, I made this out of petals from the old fashioned rose. I had some petals that fell off in the process, so I had some white ones and some pink ones, so I just formed it into this flower shape. A headband, like that. But I really like, like, you guys must know by now that I'm obsessed with eye patches for some reason. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to show the footage that I took at home. Here are some pansies. And in my opinion, these are probably the best ones, the best flowers to dry. What you have to be careful about is keeping the whole flower intact when you cut it. When you cut pansies, you can use plain scissors or you can use clippers, like I have here. So what you want to do is, you see where it has some leaves that are up close next to the flower and then it has the stem? You wanna keep all those leaves intact because that's keeping all the petals intact. So you wanna cut it right here. Okay, what you want to do is put the whole thing flat, the flower side down, and then you want the leaves up on the top, and then when you close the book, that's going to flatten out. So you can just close it like this. Here are hydrangeas. What I like about hydrangeas is that you can get so many different colors, like this bright blue and this purple color. And then another species, or it's the same species, but it's just propagated differently, and it's white. And they're also really easy because they're practically dry already when they, you take them off the bush. You just have to get them a little zap. They come right off. Here, let me show that again. They come right off. You can use your fingers or... Four scissors and they come right off like that and very easy to flatten out. You can also take like a whole bunch, like a whole branch off and then bring it inside and then later when you're inside you can just do the same thing. Just like that. Alright, these are impatiens. These are actually African impatiens and there's, we also have uh, pink, just regular impatiens I guess. And these dry okay except they get a weird transparent quality to them which isn't expected. Looking at them they're so bright and red and um, vibrant but when you dry them they get very transparent and that happens to a lot of flowers so a lot of this is a trial and error sort of deal but same thing here there's this weird thing that comes out the back Like this weird thing right here that comes out the back. You want to make sure you keep that intact when you cut it. See? 
So just like the pansies, you want to put the flower side down and you can just close it that same way. This is an old fashioned rose bush and these dry very nicely. Um, they can also stay intact. The thing that you have to watch out for is if you turn it around, there's this ball right here, right here. And that ball can be difficult, but when you cut it off the bush, you want to cut it, um, you want to make sure that that ball stays with the rest of the flower. And then when you go to flatten it, then you can take care of that. Okay, this is definitely the hardest part of all flower drying. Cutting this little ball off the old fashioned roses. So you don't want to cut the whole thing off or the whole flower will fall apart. So you want to get about halfway down and then just cut it. And when you have it flat like this, then you just want to put it flower side down and flatten it in a book just like you did every other flower. This is flax here and here. And flax are great because you don't need any scissors or anything to take them off. They just, uh, you can just grab a hold of them and they'll come right off. Like that. And then what you do to them to flatten them out is just give them a little pinch. And then the, this part will flatten out and then the whole flower will stay intact. And then you can just flatten it like that. That's why I like flax a lot. So I wanted to show you what it's like when you don't microwave the flowers. When you just keep them inside of a book, pressed inside of a book. Some of them can be nice, but a lot of them can just turn brown like this. So I just wanted to show you that it's definitely worth it to microwave your flowers. So this is how I store them, just in regular Ziploc baggies. And I just write on the bags what kind of flowers they are. And then I put them in flat, but it's okay to stack them because once they're dry, they're not going to stick together. I also like to keep them color coordinated, and sometimes I'll just keep them in the same bag but stacked up in different colors. There's still time, there's still flowers out there. I actually saw an old fashioned rose bush right by a Starbucks. But, um, like, don't steal flowers from Starbucks. But, um, you may have run out of time for this year, but there's always next year. There's always greenhouses. You can grow flowers in a pot, and you can still dry those, and they're just as good. Hopefully you'll get into drying flowers, because it's actually really rewarding, because sometimes it can make you happy, like, in the middle of the winter, when there's nothing growing. Like, you still have flowers. You still have the colors, like this pink is never going to go away now that I dry it. So yeah, enjoy.